Okay. Uh, all right. I'm doing a quick video with Ryan. I, I don't know what order I uploaded your last thing in, Ryan. So, but Ryan's okay. been on my channel. So, thank you for doing this. This is like, it's like another day. It's not like we filmed it the same it's day as a previous. <laughs> yes. Thanks for having me uh, back. So. Yeah, I know. Thanks for so, thanks for joining again so quickly. Um, I thought this would be fun to do. I used to do this on my podcast with friends that I, I consider dead. My friends are mad I say that, but we haven't done it in a year and a half. So it's dead, <laughs> I think. Uh, but anyway, we're going to do a... Oh, sorry, were you going to say something? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. uh, we're going to do a would you rather question. And, okay. and I thought this one stood out... Um, like for somebody who lives in Arizona specifically. Okay. I have to find it again is the problem. I had it on my on my phone. Okay, here it is. Okay. Would you rather give up heating and air conditioning for the rest of your life or give up the internet for the rest of your life? Well, let's let's if I could put some parameters on it. Let's say that I'm stuck in Arizona. Yeah. I would have to say it's like your life as you know because, it. Yeah. Because I, I don't even know if I would physically survive without air conditioning <laughs> in Arizona. Um, you know what, even though? if I wasn't in Arizona, it's funny growing <laughs> up in California, you know, like it's pretty mild weather, but there are some hot yes. days in the summer, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. My mom had this rule where it was like, unless it was hotter than 90 or 95 outside, she would never turn on the air conditioning. And, you know, we That's were hot. pretty middle class, didn't have a lot of money, yeah. but it's like we can afford, you know, central cooling and heating, mom. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, so, like, I, it's funny because I still joke about it, but it's like I insist I don't care <laughs> what the uh, the weather is outside. My house will be at 76 degrees at all time, whether it's winter or summer, and That's I will great. pay whatever it takes yeah. because I live here and I need yes. to be comfortable and there yeah. are things in this world a lot more expensive. I mean, it's not going to be cheap depending on the season, but I'm like, what's but, the point of civilization if you can't pick your air <laughs> when you want to? It's so stupid. It's just, we might as well live in a tent if we're going to live in a house. <laughs> Control the air. Yeah, and you know what? You know what? You could do that too, though. You live in a yeah. tent. Uh, no, I was going to say, though, with Arizona, I mean, way back in the cowboy days, I'm sure – Granted, I'm sure it was so sparsely populated back then, but they survived ish. I say they yeah. survived, but I think the lifespan in the 1800s is probably not good. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but yeah. then I have to think with the, with the internet is uh, in it, part of everything now. So it's like, I know. You, know, you, you think social media may be first, right? And I'm like, oh, You're we right. used too much of that. I could dial that back and, and that's fine, right? But then what about like Netflix and all the streaming that we enjoy? Yeah. No, that's right. the internet. And um and even some of the uh I mean, I don't know technically, but the the texting, the uh you know, sending media just to someone else's phone for True. a laugh. Yes. You know, uh, that would be tough. Um you could still make phone calls, right? We'd have to talk to people. What? No, I know. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> and and then we don't have to go to the theater, right? Like, I mean, the broadcast television yeah. would still exist, but if you want a movie. We'd right. either have to go to video stores, which I'm so nostalgic for. Anyway, well, yet, or we'd all go to the theater more, which I love anyway. So I think if you know what though. Okay, I I see your answer, and I just don't want you to give up the internet because that's how we're able to do what we're doing right now. So don't give it up. I hope you didn't come to a realization that you'll give it up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just it's now. Not even, it's my life plan from this point on. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, actually, as of today, it's all the nostalgic things you miss. That's understandable. You know what's funny? My answer is the reverse. I and I don't consider myself an addict <laughs> by any means, but the way I express myself is mainly through YouTube. Mm -hmm. Occasionally, I'll post Instagram pictures, as we talked about. I don't go on Instagram a lot. Separate discussion we did, but I will post them. Uh, but I would miss the internet too much, and I'm trying to temper how much I use it because it's it's probably too much still. But it's I don't think it's I've seen worse scenario, worse cases. And sadly, I'd have to give up that. And I run hot at night. I put a fan on me at night through, like, December. Granted, I live in California. But yeah, still, we get it into the 50s. <laughs> Sometimes the 40s uh, oh, at night. So I actually I was going to say I couldn't give up the internet. And I'm saying that while I'm talking to you in a very hot room right now. So yeah, well, I stand I by it. Your face. Yeah, that's, that's good. And, and you know, but I'm a creative, too. And I didn't think 
if I, I make content, not as frequently as you, but it's really important when mm-hmm. I put my heart into something that people see it, no one would yeah. be able to see my work unless they came over yeah. to my house. It's like how I used to present things in high school to my family right. against their will, mind you. On your VHS tapes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You'd say, we're going yeah. to watch Jurassic Park. And then you'd swap them and put in your shit. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I wouldn't even hide <laughs> what we were watching because, yeah, that'd be a real disappointment to go from Jurassic Park to that. <laughs> Uh, but I, yeah. And my, uh, my comedy episodes used to be like 30, I was trying to do the full, like, well, maybe 22 minutes. I was trying to be like a oh, real TV yeah. producer. And, uh, and so I'd make people sit through that whole thing versus now I'm going to do another plug for my comedy channel, J Brandt productions. They're roughly, they're like three minutes max. They're five, five minutes max, yeah. I'd say, but they're, they range from like 30 seconds to five minutes um or attention like i got back so that. Short, you gotta cater to that unfortunately you, you gotta go fast especially on youtube you're gonna lose them that reminds but, me i lost my copy of three blocks from the nut house here i have to mail it to you yeah do you I have, have to mail it to you version? i do have it oh let's can you and i maybe not you and i but i need to figure out how to get a dvd onto digital but there's got to be a decently easy way because I have it. The only way you can now, if you don't own a computer with a disk drive, which nobody does. At no, this I don't. Do you take it to one of those specialty places where they make oh, okay. money off of your old memories. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Uh, I'm going to put a little calendar reminder. Let's see. Maybe well, Christmas time. This stream will come true. You want digitize. You just well, there's that one. too. Yes. And I've done it in pieces, including my original sitcom, The John and Nicole Show, which has been done in pieces, which um, nice. my cousin Nicole, I think, would would agree. We're both very happy that was pre-YouTube days. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I have but uh, no, you're right. There are other things. But uh, I need to do that. And um, for sure. Because I was, uh, you were great in that. Well, that was uh, your, your comedic <laughs> I, that acting. That was the one surprise because I never did acting in high school. I was never a theater kid, but I enjoyed acting when I could. Yeah. But, but Mike Whalen, God forbid he's watching this. I don't know why he would. I, I highly doubt uh, it. I respect it. I think he respected <laughs> me, but he never liked me because I was a sassy jackass in his class all the time. But uh, he actually said, he's like, Ryan, you did a really good job acting in that. And I'm like, oh. I don't think a compliment in my life before well there there you go if mike whalen is watching this which he's probably not you're right um that, that's really nice to hear um yeah you're you're right i i will say this i i do miss the actual reaction granted a lot of them didn't want to watch my stuff um and that's okay they didn't want to i don't blame them but I, I don't actually hear the reaction to my videos i show my comedy videos to my parents sometimes because that's the main way they see it so i actually hear the reaction but Everything else I just kind of put out there um, I so I don't get to hear all the great laughs. Doing comedy. It's so important. Like when I went to the Comedy Film Festival in Portland, yeah. um, it was such a nice experience just hearing people laugh rather than yes. just like texting people. Did you like it? Was it funny? And then you right. take LOL right. word for it when they're probably lying anyway. You know, you I know LOL <laughs> means nothing. It means nothing. <laughs> it's also awkward. You're right. Like, you cap the audience in your living room. And then you play your comedy, and then all you do is like stare at them, like, "Are yeah. you laughing?" Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nobody likes. And there, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, my uncle Mike watches these. My uncle Mike does. So, um, so thank you for watching uncle these for Mike one. But I, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's great. Shout out to Uncle Mike. He's he watches these. He's probably watching this now. Shout out to you right now. Uh, but I know him and his wife. Like, like I made them watch against their will, and they weren't always like, "I want to watch this," like for for a long time and i don't blame them so i the no no hurt feelings but like i'm fully aware that that was the case it's exactly what you described i'm like looking like isn't this funny and it's like no reaction probably not taught me a lot about comedy and that i'm not that funny i'm kidding mostly (laughs) comedy is all about um self not self-censorship that's not what i'm saying it's about editing because i think even the best comedians realize that not 100 percent of their shit is funny they just have to find Absolutely. the five percent that it. You know what's funny, and we're not on a tangent, but I love doing that. When I edit my comedy stuff, sometimes like because I have watched it like five or six times at that point, and I'll watch it again on YouTube, especially like on a TV. I'm mm-hmm. like, I made that too long. I should have cut that. I stretched that joke I, like every time. It's, yeah, I don't know I, if you do that, but every no, time I'm like, that was too long. Wow. And uh, there are those moments where I'm like, why was I so self-indulgent? This is right. <laughs> should have cut right. this in half. Oh, right. Yeah. You're like, but you're like, but I did. I bought that fart sound effect track. I have to use the whole thing. <laughs> I have to use every one. 
<laughs> that's okay though i'm a big fan of the fart sound effects I, you are oh, too that's how we became friends in college you, you just know. have someone fart or an off-screen fart it yeah. saves it every yeah. time this is the story of my comedy channel or show kevin's butt cheeks that's usually his go-to <laughs> move um he's still doing that it's <laughs> just true now. <laughs> yeah yeah it, i always tell him the king of queens quote where burt reynolds told him he's like doug he's like when you're five years old and you show your fanny or whatever he said. It's cute. When you're pushing 40, shape like you. It's disturbing. <laughs> I was like that line. Yeah, I was the words of wisdom that you everyone can live by. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but I'm glad we went through this scenario. Let's hope this never actually happens. Um, but I'm glad we went through that. Now you know, in case it does, in case this comes up in your life. Yeah. Uh, you, you know what choice to make. Blackouts or the apocalypse, uh, John will be miserable faster than I will be. I think that's what we discovered. I'll be miserable, but I will well, still no, be posting content. Then we won't have central air. Just if the internet goes to hell. Yeah, goes. actually, yeah, the blackout. Yeah. See, and I'm my content's still out there, so I win. <laughs> uh, we'll do more of these, but yeah, thanks again for doing this. I think it's always like a threat. We'll do more of these. <laughs> <laughs> um but uh hopefully uh people found this funny and subscribe to this channel and subscribe to ryan's and look up let me poop in peace his comedic um magnum opus if you will i don't know yeah. that's my take master poos. <laughs> master poos. did you just come up with that <laughs> yeah yeah i like it yeah um that's great what a way to end uh all right thanks for watching this one and ryan don't, don't hang up just yet one second i'll okay. say goodbye